Okay, today is tub painting day and I am not quite terrified, but I'm definitely very nervous because there are so many steps and it's very stinky. I have actually done it once before and it's very nerve wracking because you have to do it in the right order. Um, but I'm gonna walk you through the whole process and show you exactly what we do so that we can get a perfect finish on our tub. <music> The tub in our guest bathroom had seen better days. I'm pretty sure that this was the original tub from 1955. It was originally green. The tub had been refinished previously, but over time it had been chipped. So you could see that green peeking through. We decided to repair the chips in the bathtub before painting. So I ordered this water weld. In hindsight, the paint was thick enough that I think we probably could have skipped this step. The water weld is an epoxy putty that's made for repairing bathtub chips. It was easy enough to use, but oh my god, it smells so bad. I also recommend wearing gloves as it gets super sticky. Pull out the amount that you will need for your hole or chip, knead the putty until it's all one color, then press it into the chip or hole and try to wipe away the excess. After an hour, the epoxy should set and you're ready to sand and paint. This was the part I didn't do as well as I should have. Make sure you sand really, really well and get all the bumps off the tub. An electric sander is really the only way to do this. Now it's time for surface prep. Remove the caulk if your bathtub has it. Remove all the hardware or cover with painter's tape if you are replacing them. We started by cleaning the entire tub with bleach. Since we just moved back into our house and had the place deep cleaned, we didn't have to work too hard here. But you want to make sure your tub is as clean as possible. Take a break for puppy shenanigans while your tub dries. If you're impatient like me, you can also use an old towel to dry the tub, but make sure you get any lint or hairs left behind. So we've got our ventilator <laughs> and I'm cracking up because it vibrates and it sounds like when you have bass in your car. How are you doing that? <laughs> it like vibrates <laughs> or like a very weird Darth Vader. You kind of look evil like Darth Vader. <laughs> You also want to make sure your brush or roller is as clean as possible so nothing is left behind in the paint. The good news is, the hard part is done. In my opinion, the cleaning was harder than the painting. We use Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile for this project. I've linked it for you below. We only needed two coats and one kit and we got really great coverage. To start, simply mix the cans of part A and part B, then stir for two minutes. I do a lot of resin crafting, so I was very familiar with this mixing process. Once your mixture is ready, use a fourth inch nap roller, mine was a four inch fourth inch nap roller, to roll onto the large, wide, flat areas of the tub. If you have help, they can get started with a brush around the edges and in the corners. I found it's best to roll over those areas as close as you can get after they've been brushed to help even out some of the lines. At this point, your tub will look a hot mess. Just wait, let the first splotchy coat dry for at least one hour, then come back and add the second coat. Don't try to recoat quickly because it gets very sticky and you will mess up that first coat. Just wait and trust the process. You can then roll on the second coat and let it set. You only have six hours of work time with the epoxy, so make sure you get it done within that time frame. Be sure to visit my blog linked below for more photos of this project and hit the subscribe button so you can see future videos of this bathroom makeover.